So the first bus arrived at 4 o'clock this morning. Yes, 4 o'clock this morning to get into the Muni lot, and throughout the morning, dozens followed. Well, Neil Fisher is live there. He's been talking with fans all day about the significance and why the significance of this game, but there's one song in particular that's growing more popular with the fan base. Hey, Neil, tell us more about this. Hey, good evening, Christy. That song, Here We Go Brownies, was released in 2020 to bring Browns fans together during a difficult time. Obviously, now everybody is together here in the Muni lot. It's a great time tonight ahead of this big game, but that song may be the soundtrack to this story. My streaming numbers are higher on Sundays. Although not Sunday, Bear Kincaid's hit song, Here We Go Brownies, is taking off. So the song is really a love song. Kincaid's hit has rallied Browns fans on social media. This as thousands of Browns fans from Northeast Ohio fill the Muni lot. Go Brownies! So whether you're from one side of the town or the other, or somewhere else in the world, at a Browns backer bar or whatever, we are together as one unified force of nature. Woo, go Brownies! The unified force grows around a Browns team that continues to win. Here we go, Brownies, here we go. Woo, woo. Here we go, Brownies, here we go. Woo, woo. From 2020 until now, Kincaid wanted to bring Browns fans together. He's accomplished that goal and has hopes of Here We Go Brownies taking off worldwide. But the ultimate goal would be to hear this song played at Cleveland Brown Stadium, either during the game or maybe at the end of a winning outcome, 67,000 singing along in unison, giving me chills just thinking about it. Here we go, Brownies, here we go. Here we go, Brownies, here we go. And Kincaid told me that when he was recording that song in Nashville, he actually got his friends around the microphone to bark like a dog to get that noise into that song. Christy, there are a lot of people barking here in the Muni lot tonight ahead of this big game. All right, Neil, have so much fun tonight. We know this is a consequential game, uh, and it's going to be uh, something to watch and something to experience. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, you can feel the energy in the city, can't you? It's coming together tonight. And if you can't make it to tonight's game, chances are maybe you're spending it with some friends at Barley House in downtown. And that's where Mike Polk Jr. has been all day as fans get ready to cheer on the Browns. Hey guys, it's Rhett, it's Mike. I'm down here on West 6th Street as we get closer and closer to kickoff here. And the mood is really starting to get fierce and the big dogs are starting to show up. Sir, <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. Sir, are you excited about the game tonight? Yes, sir. Are you excited to root for Joe Flacco? Yes, sir. Is it strange rooting for Joe Flacco when he used to be our enemy? <laughs> you know it. Good, good commentary there. Let's see if everybody, go Browns, go Browns. Excuse me, sir, is it weird rooting for Joe Flacco? Uh, no, sir. You're happy about it? Good, good, good deal. All right, good deal. Are you excited to root for Joe Flacco? Uh, I love Joe Flacco. Did you love Joe Flacco two months ago? Yes. Wow, I don't believe you. Do you are you rooting for Joe Flacco? I love Joe Flacco. Did you love him when he was not a Cleveland Brown? No. You can admit, at least be honest, unlike your friend <laughs> hey, over here. Oh, hey, hey. I didn't like him when he was on the Ravens, but I go. love him That's when he's it. on the Browns. That's all I was asking for was that honesty. Or is it hard to root for Joe Flacco? No, not at all. He's you're doing great. You're happy about it? Very happy about is it. Is it weird because he used to be our enemy? No, not at all. He's our friend now. He's our friend. Say go Browns. Go Browns. Guys, is it weird rooting for Joe Flacco? No. It's not at all? No. Even though he used to be our enemy? <laughs> he wins for games for us now, so who cares? Okay, tell him good luck. Good luck, Joe Flacco. All right. Is it weird rooting for Joe Flacco? No. It's not. Are you happy about it? Yes. Did you used to hate him? Yes. Has your heart grown for him? I guess so. All right. You heard it here, folks. People's hearts are changing. Their souls are opening up for Joe Flacco. Why? Because he's winning. That's all we've ever asked. We don't care if you were mean to us once. That's, our, that's the lesson that we're trying to teach you as Clevelanders. As long as you just change your mind and start doing nice things for us, we'll, we'll find forgiveness in our heart. Go Browns. <laughs> go Browns and go Mike Polk. Thank you.